in this screencast, I am going to discuss diagrams used to represent phase behavior for a single component. And I'm just going to briefly look at a number of diagrams. At the bottom, you'll notice here on each of them will be a link to an interactive simulation that allows you to change things and change locations of a point for example, in this diagram and observe behavior. And so what I just want to do in, in this screencast is, is briefly go over each of the diagrams. And there are a number of screencasts specifically for each of the individual diagrams. So on the pressure temperature diagram, this here is super critical. And of course, there's no distinct dividing line between liquid, supercritical, and vapor. This is the triple point, and pressure versus temperature line for liquid vapor equilibrium is essentially a plot of the saturation pressure as a function of temperature, something that we often model by an Antoine equation. If we look at another diagram, pressure versus volume, and we use these diagrams quite a bit. And so I'm showing pressure versus volume. A couple things to note, it's a log scale on both axes. This is the critical point. And for the diagram on the right, I've shown an isotherm calculated from a cubic equation state, so the actual behavior is along this line. So the blue line, and then vapor liquid equilibrium here, and then the blue line for the rest of the uh, isotherm. So remember, this line up to the critical point, saturated liquid. And then this line, again, from the critical point up to high volumes, saturated vapor and of course a line connecting these two saturated liquid and saturated vapor in equilibrium so let's look at one more similar plot but this is temperature versus volume rather than pressure and so what i've shown with the blue line again a cubic equation of state for an isobar, and the actual behavior then in the two-phase region is here. So again, the liquid, here's the critical point. This is saturated liquid along this line. Saturated vapor here. And the isobar, as we raise the temperature, for example, if we look in this region, as we expect, as we raise the temperature at constant pressure, the volume goes up. Now these temperature volume and pressure volume diagrams could also be plotted versus density, and then they look sort of, not exactly, but it's like flipping around the x-axis. So the next diagram to look at is a temperature versus entropy diagram. And the same diagram is shown with just different constant lines plotted. So on the left, first note that the saturated liquid and the saturated vapor lines are labeled. And isobars, constant pressure lines, are shown. Again, it shows if we're at constant pressure, and we raise the temperature, we're going to raise the entropy in this gas phase region. And then, of course, in the two-phase region, at constant temperatures, we have more vapor and less liquid. We increase the entropy. On the right side, again, same, exact same plot, but now we're showing constant enthalpy lines as opposed to constant pressure lines. And so... For example, if we look at this line, it says at constant temperature, because this essentially is horizontal, we could increase the entropy, but we don't change the enthalpy. So we increase the entropy by lowering the pressure, 
Indeed, if we look over here, we can see moving to the right in that region lowers the pressure. Lowers the pressure, increases the en entropy, but at low pressures, the pressure does not affect the enthalpy. Of course, up here, it's a very different story where now as we change the pressure, we're changing the enthalpy. Now, if we look at constant temperature line and we move to the left, we'd be increasing the pressure. Of course, that would decrease the entropy, but it would also decrease the enthalpy according to this plot. The next plot to look at is a pressure enthalpy diagram. Of course, we can observe some of the same behavior as we observed previously. So it's the same diagram on the left, we show constant quality lines and we show isotherms. On the right, we show constant entropy lines and also constant quality lines. And so, again, if we're in this regime, as we increase the pressure at constant temperature, we don't see a change in enthalpy. Because we're at low pressures, like an ideal gas, enthalpy doesn't depend on pressure. If we get to high pressures, now the at constant temperature again, enthalpy does change as we change the pressure. And on the right, we can look at how entropy changes on this pressure enthalpy diagram. And then, finally, let's look at an enthalpy-entropy diagram. This sometimes can be useful in looking at a turbine behavior, for example. On the left, isobars are plotted, and on the right, isotherms. Important thing to notice, the critical point is here. Critical point is not at the highest enthalpy or at the highest entropy, because you know gas, saturated vapor, at given pressure has higher enthalpy and entropy than the saturated liquids in equilibrium with. And so these are just brief description of these diagrams, but it really helps to understand these diagrams to understand single component phase behavior.